nature provides valuable goods and services. The food we eat, the water we drink, and even the air we breathe are all products of nature. Our survival and that of millions of plants and animals depend on nature. Simply put, a healthy environment means a healthy world. Unfortunately, nature is under threat. All across the globe, ecosystems and the services they provide are under severe pressure. Forests, wetlands, grasslands and coastal habitats, among others, are undergoing rapid degradation linked to human activity. These crucial life support systems are on the verge of collapsing unless urgent concerted measures are taken to reverse the situation. Whether big or small, the actions we take can have positive impact on our environment. In this episode, we will be talking to Elizabeth Njeri, the camp manager, Lake Elementata Serena Camp. Stick around to find out why the camp is championing the preservation of Lake Elementata and how it is engaging other stakeholders to move forward the conservation issue. It is a lovely evening here at Lake Elmetaita Serena Camp. With me is the camp manager, Madam Elizabeth Njeri. Welcome to the show, Elizabeth. Thanks for having me, Richard. Uh, Lake Elmetaita Serena Camp is highly regarded as an eco-friendly tourist facility in Kenya. What is the philosophy behind this? Uh, thanks, Richard, for that question. The main reason is uh, Serena Hotels as a group of hotels is we run our operations in uh, sustainability. We pride ourselves in running sustainable tourism mm -hmm. and we have environmental policies that uh, govern our, our operations. So we are very proud to be an ecotourism camp because we stand with a brand which stands for sustainability and uh, our practicing environmental practices is part of our DNA. Uh, Lake Elementata is a designated World Heritage Site. It is a Ramsar site and one of the Kenya's important bird areas. What is the camp doing to preserve this site's ecological integrity? So Lake Elementata Serena is a, is a member of mm -hmm. one community group that is the Lake Elementata mm -hmm. community-based organization. Yes. So the main uh, objective of this uh, group is to conserve the lake yeah. by doing litter collection, bird monitoring, training of the guides and the community in preservation of the lake. Mm -hmm. So the Lake Elementata Eco uh, community-based organization yeah. is a site support group of Nature Kenya. Oh. So the camp also works with different partners and stakeholders in being able to monitor the lake and uh, I know the monitoring and biodiversity of the different ecosystem that is happening. So that includes the Nature Kenya and the KWS. Uh, it is great to hear what the camp is doing for conservation, Elizabeth. So do you engage staff and guests in any of these conservation activities? Yeah, yes, we, Richard, we do because... Um, in terms of conservation, we do involve a lot, uh, most of our staff mm -hmm. and our guests. So whenever we have any conservation activity, like data collection or uh, the bird count, we in communicate to our guests through briefings and we let them know that there are those activities. And in any guest who is willing to participate, we welcome them to the activity. So in terms of our staff, also we have a birding club mm -hmm. in, the, in the camp mm -hmm. and they are involved in all those activities whenever they are there. Uh, Lake Elmetaita Serena Camp is indeed doing a great work in conservation. So Elizabeth, what are some of the benefits of a tourist uh, facility taking part in uh, conservation, especially of sites that are around, like for your case, Lake Elmetaita? Uh, thanks, Richard, for that question. Is that uh, the reason why we are very keen in um, and we pride ourselves in taking care of the environment is because it is the reason we exist, and that's the reason why our businesses operate. Uh, also, as uh, right now, the tourism industry is very keen on sustainable tourism. Mm -hmm. Tourism uh, tourists will uh, hold you more responsible if you take care of the environment. You stand out from the competition if you stand to the truth 
uh, practices of taking care of the environment. Uh, so that is why we are very keen on conserving the areas where we operate in and Serena as a group, not only like the Mentaita, we take care of our all our environmental areas because that is what we are promising the customer. We are promising the customer we are taking care of the environment. When you come to our facilities, we are sustainable and you're more likely to come back and find the lake a few years to come. Uh, Elizabeth, it takes uh, collaboration to achieve any uh, meaningful gains in conservation. And uh, in regard to this, are there any other stakeholders that you work hand in hand with? Uh, if so, who are they? I'll start by uh, mentioning our staff because they have been on the forefront in making sure that uh, our environmental and conservation activities are uh, very upfront. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have uh, other stakeholders and uh, to mention a few, we have Nature Kenya also who have been very influential in guiding us on how to do bird monitoring, training on biodiversity and engaging our teams on how to do proper birding. Uh, other, active, other stakeholders involve the KWS and also the community where we operate to involve them when we are doing all those activities. And the stakeholders also other hotels neighboring us, whenever we call them upon to do litter collection or any activities, they come out and in big numbers. So we are very grateful. And also to our guests, some of them have been involved in uh, helping us in kind in any environmental activity, sustainability. So we have quite a number and we hope we'll get more as we go along. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Elizabeth, for the interactive session. But before we let you go, what message would you send out to corporate entities out there regarding conservation? Do you feel there is an obligation for the corporate world to engage in conservation? Yes, Richard, there is, because um, the environment, if we take care of the environment, it is the water we drink, the mm -hmm. air we breathe, mm -hmm. and the food we get, or we get all this from the environment. And for all corporates out there who are wondering if sustainability pays, yes, it does. Uh, we have seen a lot of benefit from learning sustainable practices, from cost-saving, engaged staff, increased of mol uh, morale, and they have information of what is going around. So I would advise every corporate out there to embrace uh, conservation and sustainable practices, and you see it pay back in terms of profits. Uh, thank you, Elizabeth, for gracing our show. Thank you, Richard, for having me. You're most welcome. We have come to an end of yet another episode of Nature Matters. As usual, we are grateful for your viewership. Share your comment in the comment box below, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell to be notified when we upload another episode. Stay safe.